What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Trust Liars. Uh, I was watching the football game the other day, and I seen a lot of ads about the election tomorrow, specifically ads for governor, and they were like attack ads. And I I don't really watch a lot of TV with commercials. Like I watch Netflix and stuff a lot, so I'm not used to seeing uh, these kind of ads, and they just struck me as pretty funny. So I'm going to go through and talk about a couple of them, and... Uh, not, you know, I have no political opinions at this point to share with anyone. So it's just a video to just kind of watch and make jokes about uh, these two fellas and their attack ads. So, all right, here we go. We're going to jump right into it. While Richard Cordray was attorney general, 12,000 rape kits were left untested. Cordray's failure left serial rapists free to strike again. Then Mike DeWine became attorney general. He tested all 12,000 rape kits. Now hundreds of rapists are behind bars. Thanks to Mike DeWine, they found my rapist. So my thought, in all seriousness, is why, why, why is it going to be about rape, right? But then they have one going opposite direction. More talking about rape. Still, Ohio. Three watch as a girl is raped for hours. They laugh, take videos. Attorney General Mike DeWine lets them off. No charges. It's a pattern. A DeWine employee harasses a woman for months with violent words. He still works for DeWine. And 4,000 rape kits sit on shelves untested. Push to speed up testing? DeWine says no, as predators roam free. So here's just a thought. Maybe instead of voting for governor, you should vote for someone to oversee all those fucking rape kits that don't get tested. Because apparently, in Ohio, we just have rape kits laying around for no fucking reason. More fucking ads. Richard Cordray failed Ohio's rape victims. Fuck! God damn it! I need a fucking adult, dude. I'm trying to vote. I'm not trying to hear about all these rapes! And he's failing us again. Cordray's plan would allow drug dealers to remain on our streets, even when they're caught with enough fentanyl to kill 10,000 people. That's a lot of fucking people. Um, are you, or is you sure about that? Because that kind of sounds very fucking ridiculous and irresponsible of someone running for public office. The same drug that is killing Ohioans every day. Cordray's plan would create a safe haven for drug dealers. Mike DeWine is fighting back, locking up drug dealers, increasing treatment, giving families hope. Mike DeWine for governor. So maybe we just need some endorsements from reputable people. Maybe like your local sheriffs, you know, something like that. The drug plan Richard Cordray supports is frightening. If you're not scared, you should be. If Cordray gets his way, Ohio would have some of the most lenient drug laws in America. Cordray's plan would let drug dealers out early. Putting them back on our streets. That's a serious threat to your personal safety. It means more crime, more break-ins, more robberies. Take it from me. From me. From me. And us. Richard Cordray's policies are dangerous. Say no to Richard Cordray. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, sheriffs, from your elected positions. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your input. Mike DeWine is lying about Rich Cordray. As Attorney General, Rich helped us drive down violent crime. And he's called for longer sentences for drug dealers. Don't believe Mike DeWine. Believe the Fraternal Order of Police. We're on the front lines, and we're with Rich. Well, now I don't know what to believe. I mean, they both have a bunch of untested rape kits laying around. Obviously, they're horrible people. They both have police who just think that they're the best. And, I mean, you know, it's just kind of like they both just equally suck, I guess. Maybe I'll vote for Dennis Kucinich. Oh, no. Well, I definitely won't do that. Anything anybody want to present to me, you know, as like a something to sway me here? I'm Richard Cordray from Grove City, Ohio. Uh, I was a Jeopardy champion now 27 years ago. This dude won on Jeopardy? <laughs> this is Jeopardy! Now entering the studio are today's contestants. An accountant from Irvine, California, Bob Peck. A writer and editor, originally from New York, Eileen Oshinsky. And our returning champion, 
a judicial clerk from Grove City, Ohio, Richard Cordray, whose cash winnings total $34,902. $34,902. That's a lot of rape kits, my dude. The census for 400, please. The answer there is, it's primarily this area on your tongue which tastes sweet sensations. Bob. What is the tip? Tip, yes, front of the tongue. For real, Bob got my vote because he's all about the tip. Well, that'll do it for today's video about the gubernatorial uh, hit campaigns. Um, I think I'm going to vote for uh, Rob Cordry. Well. Get ready to have your dicks blown off. So I think he's gonna get the he's gonna get the nod this year for me. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoy my goofy format. I shot this video in because uh, I don't know. I thought I'd try something new. But uh, don't forget to go out and vote on November sixth. Forever who the fuck you want because it's America and I have a blurry face if I want. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.